So here's a proof of concept setup of the little crawler with some stuff just very quickly moved in. So I've got the little FPV camera just on a piece of glue tack stuck to the roof there. Uh, that's obviously connected to the AM way, which is held in with another piece of glue tack and uh, a cable tie. This, of course, all needs to be powered. The camera's getting power from the AM way, but the AM way needs its own power supply. So what I've got just inside the uh, the cab here, quite usefully, is a little 240 milliamp two cell battery to run the whole thing. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So let's go run it, see what happens. And here we go. You'll see that the little mini FPV camera gives a nice, really wide angle. So you can see at least the front wheels and where they are on the ground. And I'm hoping this will help with the sort of crawling I intend to do, hopefully FPV. It's quite interesting going so low around a familiar item like your garden, which just looks sort of alien landscape like when you're this low down on such a tiny little car. Certainly interesting. If you're thinking, wow, that's a nice day, well, he wasn't out flying. It was a gorgeous day, it was just blowing a really strong wind, so the car was it. Here's my attempt at climbing up the little tree stump I had, which was kind of okay. This is really where I, I felt I needed to see the back wheels, or it would have been great to be able to pan tilt and see a little bit more about where we were. It was quite hard to find the balance point on the trunk. But I could see where the wheels were, so I could get up it okay. Coming down there was another matter. I knew the log was, or well, the route was there somewhere. It's just a case of finding it. And then it all kind of went wrong a little bit when trying to um, figure out how to balance. It didn't look like it was out of balance here. I'm wondering if I got caught on just a little stick or something as the wheels were spinning there. Suddenly I'm slipping off the side and I'm out. did manage to find some interesting things like why is there a big plastic frog here in my garden? I have no idea. Well. <laughs> because of the short range I was able to drive right to the full extent of my little garden. Um, here I am going down my alleyway and the signals having to go through uh, a couple of these brick walls and uh, not having a particular problem because I'm about 30 feet away that's all and I don't I don't think this is ever going to be anything where it gets any sort of range because it's it's a very basic uh, radio and receiver and you don't really need to go far when you've got uh, all these little tiny obstacles to mess around with. And it's a similar story heading over to the other side. We've added bumps. Brick walls, not a problem. and an interesting alien landscape to cross. Sometimes the seeming crash was actually recoverable by getting the wheels in the right direction. other times it 
just really didn't come off. <laughs> so heading indoors now because the idea of this is uh, a rainy day sort of thing and I've made myself a little course out of a uh, couple of lap trays, DVD cases, board games, much the same as last time. I'm starting to get the, the gist of how we climb up here using cornering uh, in order to get better grip. Not necessarily better grip uphill, you can still turn yourself over quite easily. So that's the more successful attempt this particular climb with the top tray turned over than just a case of descending. Now this seems to work fine in FPV. I mean, I can't see where the back wheels are, but I can judge it okay. So now going for a, a slightly more interesting setup. Trying to find if I can position the wheels to get on either side of these boxes here in order to balance across correctly. And just about descending at the utter limit of uh, what this can take. Almost went over but just about rescued it. I was pleasantly surprised to know that although I had this on, although not necessarily running, um, for about half an hour the battery cells were still at 3.7, both the one for the VTX and the car itself, giving pretty amazing run time. The next stage now is to make a proper mount for the camera and VTX rather than just blue tack and then make a couple of decent indoor courses uh, and let's see what happens for next time. Bye for now.